Uh, hi everyone. So now we have entity, we have database table, which we have created that we can see here. Uh, yes, here we have this database table technology and this is the SQL script and this is accordingly whatever we have designed. Right, all the columns and the primary key constraint, foreign key constraint with the parent ID. And here also you can see I did the entity change and I did npm run db sync so it has created this additional column using ultra table query right so it's like how it works now what we need to do we have the table and we have the entity now we can write service and we can just write the apis to get the data create the uh, technology update the technology and all these things so I will just write technology service ts and uh, service is the, the only thing is it will also be a simple ES6 class export default class you can say text service but this class should be injectable because we are creating a NSDS service it should be injectable and now you will just do the constructor injection of repository inside the constructor of this service inside the constructor we can define like what dependencies we wanted to add so we wanted to access, access the database tables right so type ORM expose the repositories for each and every uh, entity that we will just inject here we will use inject repository let me check why this auto intelligence why it's not working okay yeah inject repository we have and inside the repository we will define the repository name repository name is technology and so we will say tech repo repository of type Let me just check repository of type technology, right? So we have imported this. We need to import technology. Add all missing imports. Okay, there is a typo. Okay, so we have injected this service and for injectable also. Okay, now we are good. Now we can actually write our functions like uh, so this is the dependency injection we have done close this and here we will write our methods which will be okay I'm exposing this method public async create and I will be accepting some data from let's say from the request object right and that data should have the name and if you have the parent then parent ID or something so we will what we will do is we'll create a DTO folder for these kind of validation and inside DTO we will create a class right that class will actually helps us uh, in creating the validation pipes okay dto let's create as a technology.ts dto.ts okay here uh, we'll define what we want right so we will we'll be getting a lot of things from the type ORM and class validator. So here we will say create category param, create technology param. Okay, and here we will define the payload. So we will be using this API property to define the type and all these things. So it should be each string. 
we are adding the name first and name is of type string name of technology the description because this api property will be exposed on the swagger to provide the information okay what else what all things are required description is not required so we'll just make it as a, is optional okay and uh, there is one more property we have is the parent id or let's say parent this is of type uh, uuid so it this is optional but if you are passing then you have to pass uuid okay i mean it will be a string only but the type will be uuid so uuid of parent technology so we have actually created a dto this dto we will use in the whole request life cycle for this particular entity now i can say okay there is a data i am getting which is of type this right if the type is this that means i will be getting all these required parameter at least the name if i am getting name then i should be able to create the entity so then again we will go to this technology service we will create these methods right so what we can do is we already got the access to this tech repo right so if you see what all methods it is exposing this dot tech repo dot here we can see find find one save create delete it's like a crud operation all the methods are exposed and here we can see save inside save we have to pass the object object of this particular repository right so what we will we'll do is we will actually create a repository so yeah let's say we'll create the object of this const tag equal to new technology now you can set the attributes tag dot name equal to data dot name right and if you have tag dot parent id uh, we are calling it as a parent or okay let's call it as a parent id so if i'm saying okay, there is a data inside that if i have the parent id then what i will do is tag dot parent equal to data dot parent id but here is a catch it's not like directly you can assign parent is of type technology right so you have to actually check you have to do the validation here if this parent id is actually the correct one or not right so here we will actually do if data dot parent id you are passing then first we will check parent technology will check what we can do is await this dot tech repo dot find by id i mean uh, there is a find one and you just need to pass the id id is the parent id let's use the where close here and what i'm saying is i'm looking for the id which is equal to data dot parent id if i get the results okay let's say find one right so it will be an object if parent tag if that really exists that means you provided a correct id and i will happily assign it to the parent because parent is of type technology otherwise you are passing the parent id but that is not representing the correct technology correct parent technology right so first of all this should uh, id should be parent id and the parent should be null that it should also be the another clause because here we are talking about whatever the parent technology you are passing the parent id should be null for this so we can also add another condition that parent should be null and parent is nullable it's like it will generate an end query for us if this is not the case that means you actually provided a wrong payload right so in that case throw new bad request exception we can throw 
and you can just pass the message invalid parent id provided okay i need to import this if everything is fine till now we are fine you assign the parent also if data is that parent id then what we will do is we will return this dot await return await this dot repository tag dot save and you will just pass the tag object okay and uh, what this method will be returning promise of uh, technology object right so we are good here we just did a create method right similarly you can actually do the update delete and all these methods and uh, we will actually do the mapping of this method now with the controller i mean controller will just call the create method controller will receive this data parameter in the request and we already have put the required validation okay this these all things are required so i will just finish this and let's connect in the new video next video